how we keep this safe as evidence? Faraday bag, Faraday cage. That's how we lock it down. Let me show you how this works and protects the data from external interference, like remotely deleting info. In the 19th century, a brilliant scientist named Michael Faraday made a groundbreaking discovery that would change the world, electromagnetism. Through his experiments, he unveiled how electric currents could create magnetic fields, laying the foundation for modern electrical engineering. Fast forward to today, and Faraday's legacy continues to be felt, particularly in law enforcement. Enter the Faraday bag, a revolutionary tool designed to shield electronic devices from signals. When police need to secure phones during investigations, these bags block any incoming or outgoing transmissions. This ensures that vital evidence remains untouched and tamper-proof. So the next time you hear of a Faraday bag, remember its roots in Faraday's extraordinary discoveries, keeping our technology secure in a world that's increasingly connected. In law enforcement, securing evidence is paramount, especially digital data on phones. A precise chain of command guides how this data is handled from seizure to analysis. It begins on the street when officers seize a phone, following strict protocol to keep it untouched. Next, they transport the phone to a Faraday cage to block all signals. Inside, no signals can interfere, safeguarding against remote tampering. Forensic experts then analyze the data under strict supervision, documenting each step. This chain of custody protects evidence integrity and upholds legal standards. Every step reflects the diligence essential in modern investigations. Snapchat messages, if I receive a message but do not open it for 30 days, it gets deleted by the Snapchat server. If I send a Snapchat message not in contact with a tower then battery dies, this message is stored in my phone, in Snapchat but not sent. If I turn on this phone and it connects to a tower, it will send that last message stored in the Snapchat app, no matter how long the phone was off. The fake meter has been exposed. EP, also a fake, he's been exposed. More than once has he been caught putting fake evidence into the accidental death of J. Dean Slater. Think about his family. Do you think they're enjoying that? Certainly not. Have some compassion for them, folks. Parents. Get behind them.